entitled parent tries to get me to have sex and get pregnant to cure my mental issues. Hey, so I got reminded of a lady at my job who seriously tried to get me to have sex and have a baby. So I'm asexual, been that way for years. I've also been diagnosed with unspecified psychosis, depression, and anxiety. The chance of me having sex is slim and the chance of me having kids is even slimmer. My co-workers know about my mental issues, I ended up in a mental hospital for a bit and they wondered where I was, and this one parent was trying desperately for me to have sex because sex would cure my depression and a baby would cure my psychosis. Why is she entitled? Because she has three kids that she only kept around for a check and blew all her money on drugs. But she's apparently has enough knowledge to know how to cure mental illness. She also tried hitting on guys young enough to be her kids. And no matter how many times I told her sex, wouldn't cure me she never let it drop. She finally got locked up and after the second time her kids were taken away. But having kids worked out so well for her so I should just listen. Is that a injury I see on your arm? Disclaimer for sensitive people, slight violence and mentioning blood. For some background, my brother, 8, was visiting one of his friends, 8, as well, whose mother is our EP. I took him there in the morning wearing a hoodie and when I was to take him back, I had just short sleeve t-shirt. I had an accident on a bike, as in bicycle, few weeks ago and it's not that long wound on my left arm got at least a bit healed. I apologize in advance for grammar and spelling, I'm not native English speaker. The cast. Me. B. Brother. F. Brother's friend. M. Entitled mother. As I was at M's house to pick up B, I was asked by F about my hand. F. How did it happen to you? Me, it's a bit longer story, but I fell off my bike on a rocky path. F, oh, and are you okay now? Me, still hurts a little, but it's fine, thanks for caring. M now came to the front door, what have you been saying to my kid? Me hello, he just asked me about my injury. M, injury, where? F, his left arm, he fell off a bike. M, really? Me, yes. M grabbed me by my left hand perfectly on the injury and pulled. Me, ow, oh, easy. What are you doing? I took a look and since I got binding down just the day before and had these butterfly-like plasters to help with wounds staying closed after some hit IR pressure after the stitches were put out, the wounds started to bleed. Nothing bad though. M, that's not from a bike incident. It's from self-damaging. Sure, lady, cutting yourself leaves same injury as falling at 35 km per hour on a rocky path. Yes lady, I damage myself by attempting to damage my stuff and putting myself in extensive care unit while I'm at it. Me, I'm not a biologist, but wound from knife cut looks a bit else than wound from smashing your arm onto a rocky path. M, what the F is that? Your blood is staining me. Me, perhaps if you didn't pull loot that. M, tightened her grip and pulled me closer. F, leave him alone mom. He didn't do anything. M, no sweetie, he's putting such a bad example. Me, lady, please, let me go, it hurts, and I don't think you want to cause more serious injury. M tightened her grip again, listen here you lit dash. Side note, I carry a stiletto switchblade in my pocket most of the time, excluding school, or other public buildings. As I just get to know, in many countries carrying knives is illegal, so before you scold me about doing illegal stuff, I'm from Czech Republic and as far as I know, it's not illegal here. I pulled out the stiletto, which made her back up a little but still her grip hurt a lot M, see. You even carry that thing around. Me, it's called self-defense. Now let me go. M, I'm calling a police. You'll get arrested for assault. She finally loosened her grip, but still held me. F and B came back with some bandage. Surprisingly, M has let me to bandage my arm. M, stay here, the police is coming. After a while police actually arrived. P1, police officer 1. P2, police officer 2. P1 to M, so, what did actually happen? M, he assaulted me with a knife. P2, seeing my arm in a bandage, blood stain on M's hand but no wound and several drips on the ground, may I see the knife, please? me, sure. I hand him over a perfectly clean blade. P2, have you cleaned it since we were called? Me, no sir. P2, why did you pull out a knife on this lady? Me, it was a self-defense. She grabbed me by the injury on my arm to the point it started to bleed. P2, could we see the arm, please? 
I put down the bandage. P2, ma'am, if he assaulted you, why does he have perfectly clean knife, there's blood, opened injury, and bruises on his arm, while you seem perfectly fine. M, he cleaned it? Me, I don't think you can perfectly clean a blood from a blade to make it look like just unpacked with a t-shirt or toilet paper. M, he's also damaging himself. P2, that's a serious issue, but not a crime, is it true, young man? Me, no, I have the injury from a bike accident. P2, ma'am, can I please take a sample of the blood on your hand? M, why? P2, so we can see whose blood it is. It will help us with the investigation. M reluctantly let P1 take a sample. She was then asked to wash her hand. M washed her hands and what was that? Perfectly uninjured hands. P1, so, ma'am, since you don't seem to be injured, young man here has opened wound and several bruises, I don't think he assaulted you. Now, I knew that my brother was and is raised to no matter what, to always tell the truth. Me, why don't the kids tell their thing? B, the lady grabbed up first, so he took the knife. F didn't say anything, but I don't blame him. P2, ma'am and young man, you both need to come with us. At the police station, we both gave our sides of the story, I had to give the blade as an evidence and the blood was tested. No traces of blood or anything else was found on the blade and blood from M's hand was found to be mine, all they had to do was determine blood group. My family was asked about pressing charges, but since we knew state is already pressing charges, declined but will have to go as a witness when the state charges her of assault on minor, injury and lying to the authorities. And yes, my stiletto is safely back in my pocket, I will try to keep you updated.